This European Cricket Network event is proudly brought to you by HCL Software, Paramatch and Local Lifestyle. Afternoon session will begin. Just needing a second to make sure the clock ticks over. Let's rock. Tief is such a good bowler. He's the leading wicket taker on ECN of all time. Oh, this is a nice little angle shot, and that's going to be for very next game. Anyway, Elahi goes to the skies again. Another teaser. This time it's caught. Fantastic bit of catching. Harjot Singh, welcome. Harjot, take a bow. What a great catch that is. Running back with the flight. Raza will be happy that he gets the man that he dropped, but he won't be happy with this because Shah goes maximo. First ball, pitched up. He's still he's a bustler. Well, this time sliced away over point. That's gonna be four, I think. In fact, it's gone all the way. Maximo just carries the line in the end. Oh, he's bowled him. Off his own body. Well, lightning strikes twice and he didn't learn his lesson, did he? So it's going to be a quick fire dozen from Adil Shah. And this comes off pretty much the same place he hit in the ball before. Back leg. Again, it's going to be a huge wide if he gets across. But he backs away. It's not the first time we've even seen that today. We saw it happen earlier. Oh, he's chopped on. It just wasn't a confident sort of innings from Prince. Well, yeah, it just... Laid on its soft hands, hits the inside edge, comes down onto the stumps, and Prince Demand's going to have to go. Big moment in this game, and the Dragons in early trouble, 24 for three. Once again, this is tossed up, and it's going to just carry the boundary. Maximo! That's hit. Oh, just over the line, but it was a teaser for the fielder. And that's gone all the way. Maximo. All right, low full toss again. This one is back. It's a misjudgment. I think that's gone for six as well. 50's up. All right, high in the air. Very, very high and very, very far compared to the last one. In fact, that's on the cube. Oh, well, lucky that no one's in, in immediate danger today. Over six with Jaffer. Oh, this one gets through the field up. That's going to be four. It's chopped into the ground. Oh, more work for Gravinda. This time, ball wins the race. That's ball of the over. Lifted up by Waka. Has to watch it. And he can watch it disappear. Maximo. In the air. Another tough catch. Oh, what a great catch. Gurvinder Singh has taken it over the shoulder. And this is the second catch like this that we've seen in the innings. We saw Harjot Singh take one earlier. And it's going to be the end of the road for Raja Wakar. Hamza, 193. Have a look at this for a carved shot. This will be, if this bounces, you're never stopping it. Anyway, start of a new over. Hyder goes to the skies and the ball flies. Maximo! Yeah, see? Takes the pace off. Oh, taking it on. He's going to be run out. That was never on. It was never on there. I know you're getting to the end of the innings, but I think he calls that and he regrets it straight away. I would actually already looked up to my notes because I thought, ain't no way he's coming back for two here. At this stage of the innings, Isan, this is one of those ones as a keeper, you know you got time. You just have to take it cleanly. Isan wants it out there. And it's almost out there. Down the ground and gone. So the first wicket for the little maestro and Chet Patel is the man that'll take it in the outfield. 
And so that's a nice little moment because, yeah, Chet Patel, he's a guy and he's played with Gorang at Ravel Sporting and they're both. Let's try the last ball. It's not going anywhere. You don't even have to throw here. Trying to protect his... Well, that's really unnecessary. <laughs> I know they're not on that many. But it's the last ball. And if he holds on to it, there's definitely no runs. But he's, he's greedy for the stats, is Khalil. And we've got to have a look at this again. Because even if he makes it, they haven't taken a run. Khalil panics, fumbles, and then... Yeah, I think it probably would have been out. And because of that, they will get one. They should have got none. Look, not to take the gloss off what was a pretty good last over. All right, shake, rattle, and roll. And it's going to start with a dot. This one's punched through the offside. And Isan, third time. I mean, has he stopped this? At least he's got the wall to stop him. Oh, you know what? I reckon he's four on the way back. Let's try and pause his first one, and then we'll come back to the second one. Yeah, I mean, that one, I can't tell. But have a look. When he comes back, actually, I think he actually had a foot over the line. And then they gave it four at the time. I think it was four. Bit of an interesting one. And now pitched up, and Isan goes downtown, baby. Maximo. Now this is going to be another boundary. Just gets a bit too close to Mohamed Isan. All right, now this is just the luck factor. Now it'll be four. Oh, this one's just a pretty handsome-looking drive from Isan. He's going to get four, and he just times this. Slightly slow ball from Waka, but Isan is all over him like a rash. Maximo! Well, guess what? Might be 17 off the over after all. Because this one is slapped to the leg side. Maximo! And it is 17 off the over. So free hit coming up. Isan, he likes that. He had the immunity cloak on. And Isan is one guy that... Uh, that plays that shot very, very well. A rough time. Oh, Edge. <laughs> he's, he's annoyed with himself. Still get the four. This one's asking for trouble, and he's going to find trouble there. Eunice goes short, and he gets hit for four. 50's come up during the over as well. Isan on the verge of another half century. But, yeah, sometimes you can get away with things at a lower level of cricket, and then when you go up, you don't. Just something to think about with some higher level tournaments coming up. Now he charges and he's going to have to go. So it won't be another half century for Muhammad Isan. Pretty nice catch taken there by Sufyan Elahi. Check it out in the replay thanks to Spring Media. Went on the charge searching for the 50 but Elahi was in the way. But still he's put them in a pretty good position. All right, Atif goes after this, and he gets it. Maximo, right on time. This is short, and again, it smacked. This is into the gap this time. And so Atif wakes up right on cue. This is sliced away. It's kind of a thick edge that time, but it will bring four. Oh, well, just took him one to get going, but now he'll have to get going in another way because this one was hit pretty confidently down the ground, almost dead straight by Gravinda. And he'll go four and out, well caught by Akhtadar Khan to his non-preferred side as well. So 17 required off the last over. Well, the bonus points in play. Well, you better make that 11 because that's maximo. It goes again, uncorks on it, and it's another one for a teeth now. It's looking pretty good, isn't it? Maximo. Hundreds up for Pack I Care. Four to win. Gorank wants to finish things off, and he will. 
Maximo. Well, never mind the one. Take six. And Gorang, double Maximo in his innings. And he hits the winning runs.